Hi, my name is Guntram Kaiser. I'm the president and CEO of the Berlin-based international public relations agency Kaiser Communication. Having been in the business for more than 25 years, I would like to share with you some of my experience on the PR strategies, tactics and messages that work best for multinationals in the German market. It may not sound very new, but nevertheless, a PR strategy on behalf of a multinational or one of its products has to have a medium-term time frame, say three years before it really shows measurable success. Hence, be patient, give it time. It is possible to transfer the core elements of a global strategy to the German market. But I would say approximately 30% has to be adapted to the German culture and media environment. It is essential to very precisely define your target audiences in order to be able to determine the best tools or instruments to reach out to them and to pick the best messages. Although Germany is overall a technically advanced country, there are differences between Germany and the US, for example. While the young people have grown up with the internet and are quite used to using the modern media, the older people are still more used to the traditional media. Hence, if you are targeting people up to say age 35 to 40, I recommend extensively using online platforms and social media for communication. But Germans have a clear differentiation. Facebook is more for communicating private stuff. For maintaining business contacts, the German social network Xing is quite popular. Also LinkedIn, but to a lesser extent. Journalists use Twitter as information sources, but not so much Facebook. There's growing up a group of highly professional bloggers who gain more and more importance as multipliers. It takes time to identify them and to establish a good working relationship with them. Data protection and respect for privacy are big issues in Germany. I recommend using a local law firm to be sure all laws and regulations are followed. The generation from 40 years upwards is still quite used to print media, although its influence and the circulations of these newspapers are constantly going down. Germany has only a few national newspapers. It often makes sense to pay more attention to regional or even local newspapers. Spiegel, which is the best known political and economic magazine internationally, does not pick up stories or material from companies or PR agencies. Germany has a very well-developed structure of special interest magazines or magazines which are specialized on specific sectors of industry. TV is popular among all age groups. One has to be very well versed with the different public and privately owned TV companies to select the right programs and platforms. Some formats which work very well in other countries, such as content advertising, are not yet well established in Germany. Be selective with your messages. Germans like it if there is some element of corporate social responsibility or sustainability in the message. If the message is too simple, Germans may get suspicious. Don't forget, Germans like facts and figures and want to see the complete picture of a case or a development. The German media is always keen to learn about job creation by an investment. A story has always to be balanced. Germans get suspicious if it is too one-sided. Germans appreciate self-criticism if they feel this is appropriate. In Germany, press releases are very well structured. They always start with answering the main questions who, where, what, why and so on. 
it is not enough to translate a press release into the German language. It is absolutely necessary to adapt it to the German structure and style. If you work with an international PR company or network, make sure that there are people, ideally German natives, with proper knowledge of the German market involved. More next time. I wish you success with all your communications in the German market. Thank you.